Hi, I'm Laura Dockrell and I'm a writer and illustrator. Uh, and I'm Isabel Harrop, I do the Isabel Journal and Alex Yotas. We're just going to have a chat and do some sketching. I'm really amazed that at the moment there's this amazing Twitter account I'm obsessed with called Cute Emergency. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much, basically, all day long it's just boosts of cuteness if you ever are feeling down, which yeah. can happen during the day. Anyway, they've branched out, now they've got Newborn Emergency. Yeah, I call it Zooborns, newborns. which is the... What like, is Zooborns? Um, right, I'm writing this down. It's ba- like, they update you like when animals are born at zoos around the... Around the world. When I was in primary school, me and my friend Olivia made these um, books that were like based on kind of Jacqueline Wilson books. They were all called like lipstick or something, and they'd all like, <laughs> draw like your teen stories in them. And what then we, happened? In we, I can't remember, but we put them in the library and hoped someone might take them out. Oh, what you tried we, like, to make? Them? them together and then put them in the library. I am the worst drawer ever, according to my mum. She says that I can't draw. And when I was younger at school, my art teacher, she basically told me that my drawings were so bad. She tried to make me not do art GCSE. Um, and then we, I still went ahead and did it. And then we had this. Um, like big tour where you know a showcase where our parents yeah. could come and she hid my artwork under the table i think it's because you and i don't do classic art no like you get a good grade if you like do a beautiful painting or butterfly but it's like or if you know how to draw a pineapple properly with all its prickles the thing is i don't think i've ever seen my art teacher even pick up a pen i hate it when people say like oh art is such a pointless subject or something because i think you know i think maths a pointless subject the point of high school you try lots of different things and you learn whether you're good at them or not and some people might be rubbish at art, but it's still good that they try it and learn something. Everybody sees things through their eyes in different ways, and also when you are drawing something, it's a mixed sort of jumble, I think, of your dreams, your interpretation, what you know of cartoon and your influences. It could, it's a mixture of what you're, you know. So if you're drawing a dog, you might think of a dog that you've met <laughs> before or a dog that you've seen on cartoon or talk yeah. from your dreams. That's what's unique. A lot of what came into the book was just things that I'd done on the like side of schoolwork, <laughs> which I'm sorry to all my teachers for doing that. So a lot of it is just just came out but was never meant to be seen by anyone else. So it is a journal really? Yeah, basically like a lot of it, it started off like there were kind of it was kind of a theme or an idea and then it, I ended up being like, oh, I don't really want to draw that today. Is that a dog from your dreams? The dog from my dreams has gone a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice to talk, keep a journal on the internet because it's nice to get a response from people kind of instantly if you like that sort of thing. That's how I found you though. Yeah. That's how I saw you. My dream project, if I could do anything, I would love to create something that is my brain on a page basically, essentially what I'm doing, but I would love to involve it in more mediums. I think creatively I would love to be able to write and make a film that have my yeah. art in it and all my visuals in it and um Perhaps even music. Society love to box us as artists. They love to be like, you're a comedian or you're a writer or you're a playwright or you're a chef or um, you're a ballerina. They don't necessarily just let you just be alive and just be an artist. They love to know what you do. We are human beings and we're not programmed and we will want to pick up and try a hand at something different and that should be allowed. What are your opinions on cereal? I have wheat bix every day, two and sugar. Every day? Every day. Do you go back to them bad boys in the microwave? Oh, no. How do you prefer to be executed? (laughs) Um, Beheaded or hung? Beheaded sounds like a more like punk death. Your head severed off. (laughs) Yeah. So you prefer to be beheaded? Yeah. Yeah, And also hung is so dramatic. Yeah. I just want to draw all the time. Like, if I have a piece of paper in front of me, then I will doodle. I've tried really hard since coming to university to pay attention and do my notes, but then I sit in the lecture and then like, and I always draw the same things. I always draw people, just their just their face. And that's why there's so many in the book. I think there's a lot of people that would benefit from from drawing. And there's again, it's the confidence thing. People could just when they have to go, oh, because you're a cat or something, they'll be like, I can't draw a cat. Yeah. Really, everyone can draw anything. Really, you just got to put your pen down. These are our interpretations of each other. Uh, I always wear those circles on my cheeks. <laughs> At all hours, and I actually have three nostrils. You've projected my, your personality onto me, and I'm mine is like... <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Mine's a bit more relaxed. Thanks so much for putting up with us. I guess this is really just to celebrate your amazing book. and mm. I've, I've got it, and it really is amazing. Thank you. you should be really proud of yourself. <laughs> that Isabel's journal is incredible, and that I can't recommend it enough. Bye! Bye. <laughs>